Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number 11. We've got this war and one other, and then the season is over. All right, and as you can see here, we're going up against an alliance called Uneo Brazil. I probably mangled that, I'm so sorry. Uh, but this is the alliance uh, that we're going to be facing, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and check out their defense and formulate our attack team here. All right, so right off the bat, we see Korg, which we often see in that uh, position there. We've got a Nick Fury here. Uh, more than likely, uh, someone else is going to be handling uh, these. We do have someone who uh, takes that Korg uh, quite often. All right, so let's look at my path. It's uh, path three, section one, and I'm looking at long shot here long shot can be scary especially if you go in with someone who is not incinerate immune uh but i believe uh nick fury can handle that uh without too much difficulty all right and i also see uh storm pyramid x again i believe uh nick fury can handle it so can uh black widow clairvoyant so i'm thinking of bringing both of them in and uh, they should be able to handle that just fine. Now, this mojo here, uh, Nick Fury can handle that mojo. Uh, if I'm, I'm asked to, uh, I may not be too quick to jump into that particular fight. Um, I don't like fighting mojo. I really don't. Uh, but Nick Fury can handle it. And, and the thing with mojo, uh, unless you're going to take off decks and, and all of that, uh, he'll degen you to death. And even though you might pop an invulnerability boost, it does not protect you against that. So he's really annoying. Uh, I may just let someone else handle that unless they ask me to do it. Then I will. Uh, I, I'm also thinking of Warlock, uh, who can probably handle that fight as well. All right, so, uh, so far, I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant and Nick Fury and probably Warlock, okay? But it could be Omega Red. Uh, that way, if I'm needed, I can help out with that Korg. All right, so let's go on to section two. All right, so we've got a man thing uh, set there to stop us from opening up section two. Um, Warlock could handle that one. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, can handle that fight as well. Um, and then I'm looking here and I see that, uh, Mr. Sinister. So that right there, it's Warlock. I'm bringing Warlock in. So it's going to be Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. Uh, I'm not dealing with that Mr. Sinister with anyone else but Warlock. All right. And we've got, uh, Emma Frost. Honestly, when you know how to fight Emma Frost, uh, you shouldn't have too much of a problem, uh, dealing with her, but, she can be tricky. She can be tricky, and it doesn't take much to get wrecked, and I hope I don't get wrecked, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, Clairvoyant can do that fight. Um, Warlock can do that fight for sure. Uh, and Nick Fury probably can handle it as well. All right, and the mini up here, uh, I'm thinking uh, if I need to, because of the nodes here, uh, dealing with Mole Man is tricky anyway. Uh, you want somebody that can heal block. Um, ideally. So uh, Warlock would probably be my best option for that fight if I was asked to take that fight. All right. So, so far the team seems to be set. Nick Fury, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Now let's see here, um, depending of course on what shape I'm in when I finally get to Boss Island here. Uh, we've got that Immortal Hulk uh, that, that can be an annoying, a very annoying, uh, fight, but, uh, I've had good success taking out Immortal Hulks with Nick Fury. Uh, so that would probably be who I would try to use, uh, if I needed to take that Immortal Hulk on. Uh, that, uh, thing I have tried with Nick Fury, it doesn't usually go very well, um, 
I do a good chunk. If he was already uh, hurt, I can finish him off with Nick Fury. But uh, usually it doesn't go well, and I want to have a Nick Fury with the life model decoy still active. Otherwise, it's, it's just not a good fight for, him, uh, for Nick Fury. Uh, and then we've got that Doom up there. That Doom can be annoying. Uh, Nick Fury could handle uh, that fight as well. Um, but I may not uh, be asked to do it. A lot of times we have the backup come in. They'll boost up, bring counters for those guys, and then just sweep. Uh, off to the left, we've got Hulkbuster, MODOK, and uh, Vision. That uh, Hulkbuster is actually a good placement. Uh, I hope uh, whoever takes it realizes you do not want to take him to a special two. Uh, I got caught by that. You don't usually think about it, but uh, what happens is it extends the buffs. So his special two is unblockable. Normally, it doesn't last long enough, so as long as you evade the first part, you can block the rest. But on that node, his unblockable stays much longer. And so that special two will be pretty much unblockable. Uh, so you don't want to do that unless you know how to evade his special two uh, very well. And it is evadable. Uh, I don't do it. I can't do it. All right, so... Uh, whoever's taking that fight, if I'm asked to, uh, just bait out the special ones. Uh, MODOK, with his annoying self, uh, you, you just really have to fight MODOK uh, the way you know to fight MODOK. Um, and then Vision, on that node, uh, don't push him past a special one. You know, you know maybe go to a special one and then start baiting. Uh, and hope he plays ball. All right, he can be annoying. And then, of course, the boss is uh, Apocalypse. That's the boss a lot of people have been choosing these days. Um, so uh, there it is. So uh, we'll be back, and I will uh, bring in the team that I just mentioned and commentate over the fights. I won't do it live because I want to focus on the fights uh, and not trying to discuss my strategy while I'm trying to implement my strategy. All right, so... We'll be right back. So the team that I'm going in with, as I mentioned earlier, includes Warlock. So we're going to uh, swap out Corvus, who I now believe is not a good option for the uh, Protect Global or Defense Tactic. Uh, unless you're going to be going up against uh, medium, small uh, champions. So that's something that I'll have to look at when I'm doing my scouting initially. All right, so... We're going to be heading over here to path three, and that first fight is going to be long shot. Now, I have gotten wrecked by long shot. I accidentally pushed him to a special two, and I was dead. I didn't get hit. I blocked it. Didn't matter. Okay, so my strategy in fighting uh, long shot is to either come in here against him with an incinerate immune champion. Or don't push him to his special two. Uh, either one uh, works out just fine. All right, so uh, I'm boosting up mainly because I have a ton of these boosts in my overflow. Some of them are starting to uh, expire. And this is, of course, the second to last war of the season. So I need to use these boosts up. All right, so... We're going in, we're fighting him normally, Nick Fury, uh, putting those nasty bleeds on him. Uh, I do have deep wounds max. All right, we baited out a special one, uh, which is what we want to do for the entire fight, okay? Just wanna keep baiting out the special ones. Do not push him to a special uh, two. And you can see that after I push him to a special one, I try to back off, bait it out, uh, and I'm just trying to slow play this. Now, I run Suicide, so that adds to Nick Fury's damage, but it also means that I don't want to uh, fire a ton of specials off, and that's why you see me uh, not firing uh, his special two, all right? I'm just relying on the bleed damage. Uh, I don't really need uh, the specials. As you can see, we're just baiting out those special ones, 
We don't care that they build up those armors because his bleeds don't care. All right, so down goes Longshot. Still love my Nick Fury. Uh, he was my best stubborn attacker when stubborn was a thing, but he is still a beast of a war attacker. Uh, if they can be bled, I'm most likely going to bring in Nick Fury unless the node uh, prevents it. All right, so now we've got aggression armor that we're dealing with. And again, protect, which is not going to come into play here. Um, she's not large or extra large. And I decided to once again go in with my boy Nick Fury. Now, Storm Pyramid X can be annoying because of all the glancing. All right, glancing can't be criticals. So it basically results in a longer fight. All right, and so that's why I went in with Nick Fury because when I do get that last one and it's not a glancing, uh, the last light attack, um, it does some good damage. Now, he's running suicides. Uh, so Zantanes, thank you, because uh, that made the fight go much faster. So when I saw that, I'm like, okay, let's just keep baiting out those uh, uh, special attacks and let him, you know, do the work for us. You know, let the recoil do the work for us. Uh, that's why uh, when folks are really serious and in the really, really high tiers, uh, they don't allow you to place with suicides because it makes the fights just that much easier. Uh, if they know, if your opponents know that you placed with suicides, they can just do this. And even some of the more uh, difficult fights become simpler by just baiting out special attacks and letting them kill themselves. All right, but we're not that serious in Alliance War. Uh, we are looking to hit Platinum 3. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we don't know how we're gonna play this final war, uh, but it's undergoing, it's underway right now. All right, so I'm speaking to you from the future. Anyway, um, we're going to be hitting up Section 2 now. We got through our path. Uh, we didn't take that first mini. Now, we're going to be fighting this man thing. Uh, I was asked because, of course, I have uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, who is great against man thing. And I've struggled against man thing uh, before. Uh, all kinds of shenanigans happen, it seems, when I go to fight man thing with my Black Widow Clairvoyant. Sometimes she'll just switch out uh, her attacks uh, so that she's not in the phase that I, I mean, the, you know, phase that I think she's in, all right? And uh, that can really mess you up. It can throw off your flow um, and you're just, you know, um, you may not be able to recover, all right? So uh, I have my plan, gonna pretty much stay in poison phase, that curse of plague, uh, and just basically take him down. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult. Should be fairly straightforward. Have to worry about the EMP mod, right? All right. So, you know, okay, went out because, you know, we took too long, but that's fine. All right. So we're all boosted up and we're ready to uh, get this man thing down. It's a little early in the morning. And then that happened. Oh, I was real happy that this happened. I hope you can smell the sarcasm. I left that in here so that you guys can see the kind of things that I got to deal with. So now, through no fault of my own, I've basically just given up a, 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 an attack bonus. All right. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. You know? It's, it's not that, that big of a deal. Yep, it's at the end of the season. You know, uh, I'm not sure at this point whether we're winning, we're losing, but I don't care anymore. That right there, I, I, it's, I don't have the energy, okay? See, I got half health, you know? I'm just like, all right, I've got two health potions because I was trying to build them back up after using them uh, in, a, in a previous war that you guys may have seen. All right, um, she's not at full, but this is Black Widow Clairvoyant. But I'm not in a good frame of mind, okay? 
uh, when I'm doing this. You know, it's early in the morning. That happened. I'm a little tilted. Okay. All right. So I've got the uh, plan, you know, but I accidentally did a, a, an evade. And I'm like, okay, that has to stop because I'll just keep getting um, those shocks on me. All right. So just parry and, uh, you know, just go in. All right, so now I'm back in Curse of Blood, in Curse of uh, Plague. But see, here's the problem. He don't want to fire his special off. And I got to bait out this special. So I am just keep on trying. I see him getting closer to a special three. Okay, we finally got him to fire off his special two. Great. All right, but I've got a bunch of shocks on me because I was doing all that evading. All right, now, uh, if I had to do this over again... Uh, I would, of course, go straight into Curse of Plague and just keep firing off my special two, which would keep his power, you know, at bay so that I wouldn't have to bait out as many specials and get those uh, shocks on me. All right. So we're still going and it's looking good, looking like I should be able to finish this. Right. All right. And see, I just parry. I mean, I uh, block that so that I didn't uh, evade, but I'm still getting these shocks. Still getting the shocks, and I'm just watching my health, and then that happened. I went, I looked up to see my health, and I'm like, whoa, my health is going down, and I wasn't paying attention, just that little bit of inattention, and I'm down. So I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, boy, I love Alliance War. I just love it. It's, it's awesome. It's a great game mode, you know? not stressful at all um it's great it's great so uh to finish him off i go in here with warlock and honestly i may have needed to go in with warlock from the beginning i think warlock may have done uh, a better job uh than my black widow clairvoyant uh even in curse of plague she could do it too but after the uh, game crashed and she lost half her health. I should have just gone in with Warlock, but I knew I was going to need Warlock for this Mr. Sinister fight. And I was wary of, um, you know, risking him that way because who knows what else would happen. Maybe the game would crash again. You know, I didn't know what would happen. Uh, I have no faith in the game or its stability. Okay. So. We're going in here against Mr. Sinister. Warlock is a great option. Well, what you want to do is get the infection up uh, as quickly as possible, uh, which means parrying a lot. You know, you can see I'm not going in. I'm not attacking. Now that the infection is on, hit him with that um, heavy attack and then just basically fight him. You want to keep the infection up. He won't be able to heal. Uh, even if he fires off his special one, which he's got a power drain uh, on him now, uh, it won't hurt you because you're bleed immune as Warlock. Uh, so we're just ripping Mr. Sinister up. Uh, Warlock is one of the best counters for Mr. Sinister. Uh, as you can see, he made this fight look really easy. Uh, you go in there with the wrong champion and that fight's not going to look like that. I'll tell you that. Uh, try going in with a Corvus. It's not a good time at all. Not a good time. Uh, it can be done, though. I've seen people do it. Um, but it, it's not, it is not good. Uh, with Corvus, uh, you have to remember that when his glaive is broken, uh, he doesn't crit. So what you would have to do with Corvus is purposely get knocked down and then while it's on cooldown uh, and coming back, you do your damage. Not a good time. Not a good time at all. All right, so now we're facing Emma Frost. And I believe Warlock can do the fight. I wasn't planning to fight her with Warlock. I was going to fight her with Black Widow Clairvoyant. But it's all good. Uh, I figure, you know, he has a armor break on his special too. So... He can prevent her from getting in that diamond form after I finish off the special two uh, attack. All right, so here we go. Do-do-do. Armor break. 
now she's no longer in diamond form and the fight can commence all right i can heavy attack her here put a bleed on her do whatever i want to do finish her off it's all good all right so uh that path is done and if i remember correctly uh there's a mini uh mole man who i was not about to fight after what was happening and what had just happened i was in no frame of mind to go messing around now warlock most likely could do that fight but i i was i was done at this point you know um but you know my uh, alliance mates were able to uh clear that mole man and now we're on the boss island you can see that they've cleared the right side a lot of times they'll just boost and just make a clean sweep uh, our backup will come in bring counters for whoever is there and just sweep it uh with a big boy boost and i was asked to uh finish off that modop so i'm like okay i can do that uh modok I, I did a video uh, a while back on how to fight modok uh, nodes of course make him a little bit trickier to fight and he's already a tricky uh opponent to fight uh but i do know how to fight modok all right so uh i'm gonna go in with nick fury mainly because of his second life you know you've got uh, the life model decoy is still active uh, you can see uh, the nodes we have to deal with. Uh, I know how to evade uh, Modok's special one, but in case I get hit, the life model decoy will take the hit. And so I will uh, still be in the game, you know? Uh, that's why I like uh, Nick Fury. Not only does he do great damage, but he gives you that little buffer. You know, you have a little bit of forgiveness. All right, so unblockable, but if you know how to um, evade the special one, you're good. Then it's all about timing. Uh, you want to hit him, get that auto block on cooldown. All right, so hit him once like that, and then parry, and now you can do your full combo. Okay, and that Modoc went down. All right, so that was it. Those are all the fights that I did for this war. And after a brief intermission, uh, we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. Now, this right here was a little funny. Uh, I went to move to use my energy, but Forsaken was already in the fight. He was waiting for me to finish. All right, so we'll be right back. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, this was a tier three war. Uh, we got all of our bosses down. So we still got a good amount of points, even though we lost because it's tier three. So we are, at this point, even with this loss, we're still on target for um, Platinum 3. That's That was our goal. Uh, and we'll see how this final war, which is still uh, underway, uh, will end up. But it's also looking good. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.